Masters Club expresses gratitude to all these members and to these gracious ladies for contributing both time and talent. So, while lovers coo beneath the moon, enthralled by each fond kiss, the villain plots his dirty work and revels in each hiss. Virginia, where's your sister Carolina? I reckon she's out in the piazza. I'm afraid she's neglecting our guest. I know one guest that she's not neglecting. And his name is not Stanway Stone. I seem to intrude. Your presence, Mr. Stone, is most unwelcome. Miss Carolyn may think different. You presume, sir, to even mention the lady's name. That also may be a matter of different opinion, Mr. Van Patter. Gentlemen, please. And now, fair lady, if you will excuse me. This man is from the North, and so are you. Why do you bear him such ill will? You wrong me. I bear him no malice. But a man who would use underhanded methods to gain control of the cotton market is not to be trusted. But he's a cotton buyer, and so are you. Yes, we are both cotton buyers. But he's been pulling the wool over your father's eyes, and now seeks to do the same to you. <gasps> you must stop. in the countryside. Sherman is marched into the sea, and Bunker Hill has surrendered. No! Where's my Judith? Right here, Colonel. Oh, oh, how my heart bleeds when I think what a blow this struck upon our happiness. You mean? Surely you cannot fail to remember, dear Henry, that I am a true daughter of the sun. And I I'm up the north. And there's no bridge across this gulf that threatens to separate us. But you avowed that you... we will soon be wed. Ah, you forget that I, whom you profit and love, am a proud southern parentage. And unless you promise not to take up arms against my people, I must ask you to release me from my vows. What must I do? Give up this fair flower so dear to me? Or heed my country's call. Caroline, I... You I... promise not to take up arms against my people? That he cannot promise. Why? Ask him. Your answer. Because I have already enlisted under the stars and stripes. <laughs> Though my heart won't speak for you, and you alone, I must now return your ring. Leave me. Don't forget my compliments to the general. My compliments to you. Sir. Sir? Now duty calls. I must away.
don't answer. Mission successful? Very good. You got your information? Everything, General. How many cannon? 210, sir. How many horses? 432, sir. How many men? 2,413, sir. That tallies with our army. It should, sir. It is our army. But I told you to spy on the enemy army. Oh, but, General, that would be snooping. Father, you're right. You know, I never thought of that. Ooh. Smith. My good man, you look tired. Won't you come in? Thank you, General Deeks. Well, well. So you know me, eh? Who doesn't? Flatterer. Come in. Won't you sit down? Thank you. I'm just having a cup of tea. Won't you join me? I don't mind if I do. <laughs> How many lumps? One. One. Well, by the by, General, how goes the war? Oh, very nicely indeed, very nicely. You seem to have quite a nice little army here. Haven't we? It's very nice, and we're all so happy about it. How many cannon? How many cannon? 210. And horses? 432. And men? Men? 2,413. Well, well, well. That sounds like quite a nice little army. Oh, you have no idea. Well, General, I'll be seeing you all. All right, goodbye, and it's so nice of you to be so interested. Mm -hmm. Come again, won't you? I will. Goodbye. goodbye. Charming fellow. <laughs> Take this to Confederate headquarters at once. You all. Salam, Corporal of the Guard, Pauline. Who is this gentleman? I found this spike snooping on the general tent. What's going on here? This spy looks suspicious. What makes you think so? He has on the Confederate uniform. Uh, uh. General, we have just caught our first spy. But we don't allow any spying around here. But, General, I met you all socially. You sure haven't forgotten our little party. Your face does look familiar. Now I know. You take one lump. We'll have another party in the morning. Colonel Stone, what do we do with him? Throw him in the guardhouse. We'll shoot him at sunrise. General, I suggest that you put the prisoner in charge of Captain Van Patter. That's uh, a good idea. Captain Van Patter, I place the prisoner in your charge and hold you personally responsible for him. Anything to report yet, Captain? Nothing definite yet, sir. That spy you failed to capture was left in your personal charge and you let him go. No, sir. He escaped. That has opened a question. Sir? Unless you capture this man within a week, you'll take his place before the firing squad. Do you understand? Come on, dismount. The 
Why went off to maybe hiding there? Hey, Captain. I'm getting homesick. We've been chasing that spy for two years. <laughs> two years is but a day where my honor is at stake. Stake? Where did I hear that word before? I can't think of food. I can think only of my duty. Two years ago, this man told me he was only going to make a telephone call. But he failed to return. I've sworn upon my honor that I would capture him if it was the last act of my life. Surround the house. Carolina. Henry. Sweetheart. Oh, honey. You all ain't fit to breathe the same air as this fragrant flower of chastity. If you all have any prayers to say, say them now. You all. What are you going to do? Shoot him like a dog. Have you anything to say? Yes. Two years ago, I caught you coming out of the guardhouse. You said you were going to the telephone, but I haven't seen you since. Why didn't you come back? The line was busy. What brought of you to question this man's honor? The right of every southern gentleman to protect his sister. <gasps> Brother! My little sister, Caroline. Now, my southern friend, the shoe is on the other foot. Oh, no. No, not my dear brother. The army of the north is approaching. It's your last chance to escape. is approaching. It's your last chance to escape. Then why don't you both escape? It, it wouldn't, wouldn't be fair, fair to him. him. Then let the spoke of a coin be found. I haven't got a coin. Nor I. Then use this. Heads I escape. Tails you escape. Gladly I give my life for Carolina. Are you listening? Why 
ten o'clock. When yon bell in the old tower tolled six on the morrow, Ma Henry would go to meet his fate. But no, no, that can never be. For heaven will see my brother's footsteps that he may arrive safely with the pardon before he's too late. Man, you all? Love conquers all. Darling. Darling. Oh, 